the NBC 26 Precision Forecast Center. Meteorologist Brian Nisnansky. Winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings remain intact across northeastern Wisconsin until noon today. But if we continue to see the snow and blowing and drifting of snow, we could see them extended uh, into the afternoon. But here's how the advisory map looks as we speak. Again, winter storm warnings in effect for Manitowoc County, Sheboygan County, Fond du Lac County until noon today. Winter weather advisories for the pink counties here, stretching from Door County through the Fox Valley, including here in Green Bay. Now, the winds part of the story. Again, the winds are still gusting 30. 35 miles per hour sustained at 21 miles per hour in Green Bay, uh, 15 miles per hour in Kiwani. So it's blowing and drifting around the snow, reducing visibilities at times in the countryside. We could have near whiteout conditions. Now, here's the precision radar uh, as we speak. You can see that the heaviest of snow has kind of shifted itself a little farther to the north now. Uh, probably the heaviest snow extending from Door County uh, over towards, say, Oconto and up towards Marinette, but still snow and pretty good from Green Bay and down towards Manitowoc. And here's the bigger picture. Picture. Uh, you can see this swath of snow extending right across northeastern Wisconsin, and it'll eventually kind of pivot its way through the Fox Valley and over towards the lakeshore through the day today. So, on and off snow will continue, and that blowing of snow will also continue. Let's go through precision cast as we head into this afternoon. Again, you can see the snow continues across northeastern Wisconsin. By this evening, it'll definitely be a lot more scattered, but we still could have some heavier lake effect bands uh, continuing through the evening hours. As we head into tonight and tomorrow, the wind should. Uh, uh, subside slightly. Still windy though, still enough to blow around that snow, and also we'll continue to see the possibility of a few flurries. But as far as the accumulating snow, that will just continue through today and that will taper off heading into tonight. Now, as far as total snowfall amounts, we're looking at a wide range here. I mean, less than an inch across our far northwestern locations. Then it gets to around an inch or two around Shawano. By the time you get to Green Bay, Fox Cities, down to Oshkosh, we could be talking about total snow of around four, five, six inches of snow. And then on the east end of Lake Winnebago, that's when the totals start to go up to around seven, eight inches. And by the time you make it to Manitowoc and Sheboygan and Two Rivers, you could see over a foot of snow. In fact, already over a foot of snow being reported in Manitowoc and Two Rivers. So let's go through your forecast highlights. Again, lake effect snow providing those huge range in snowfall amounts. Again, we'll see blowing snow and also whiteout conditions, especially along the lakeshore. Dangerous travel conditions. Really, I-43, I do not advise any travel if you got plants heading down towards Milwaukee. And here you go in Sheboygan. Again, you can see the snow-covered roadways here. 29 degrees, your current temperature in Green Bay. Roads are better here in Green Bay, but notice still snow-covered uh, here on 172. Currently 28 in Appleton, with just a very light snow falling now in Appleton and across northeastern Wisconsin. It's 30 in O'Connell, 30 in Marinette, uh, 28 the current temperature in Manitowoc. High temperatures, as we look at the temperature trend, fall a little bit into the weekend. High temperatures will only be in the 20s by Saturday. Your forecast for today, snow Snow and blowing snow, about three to six inches total here in Green Bay. But again, those totals go way up over towards the lakeshore. A high temperature of 32 degrees for tonight. 25 scattered snow showers and again windy conditions and blowing snow. Here's your seven-day forecast. Uh, 32 on Thursday. We'll look for a few snow showers or flurries Thursday and Friday. But some sunny skies this weekend. Weekend looks good, but it looks cold. 25 for your high only on Sunday. Back up to 30 on Monday. Again, just getting pounded in the Manitowoc area with snow this morning. It has lightened up a little. Little bit, but we could see some of those heavy lake effect bands uh, return later on today. All right, hopefully, this is the last one. Oh man, we got all the March to go. Uh, I know we uh, can only hope for last, last year's March again. You'd like that. I heard 70s it was and 80s. Very, very nice. <laughs> it's hard 70s to think of. and 80s. That is hard to believe. Hard right to now. believe. Literally, last year, like, say, if we go two weeks in advance, like the middle of March, mm -hmm. it was 80 degrees. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs>